boom yeah okay so i'm gonna give you guys a quick video on the review of the xsr 900 which i had for a day from a friend of mine who came down from the states yeah apparently um i was lucky enough to be given the opportunity to ride the bike and do a quick review on it so without further ado i ain't gonna waste your your time check the video today today is wednesday the 8th of september 2021 wednesday the 8th of september 2021 and i'm gonna give you guys my review of what i think this bike is capable of one i'm gonna give you guys the dislikes one the dislikes the front forks the front forks they are too soft um as it's not my bike personally um i'm not too sure if the owner um, made a change and got um, shocks or forks i'm not too sure if that bike was totally brand new or if it was a crash but if that's how it came from the factory nah i don't like it the front forks they are too soft right they seem to be hard and soft so let me see if I could adjust it all right I'm gonna try to make a little adjustment it says soft is left and hard is right see I give it a I give it a I give it how many clicks I give it five clicks to the right now my thing is I give it five clicks to the right but I'm not seeing a chamber that that setting on the right top fork transfers to the left fork so this is why I'm of the belief that this bike may have been a crash because I'm not seeing any tube or any sort of fluid transfer from one fork to the other so hmm. My assumption is that bike probably was a crash and had the Fox changed because it makes no sense that we could adjust only the right side. That doesn't make sense. You're supposed to be able to adjust both sides or if it's a, a system that is connected to either either of the sides then there should be a left and a, a right connection so that you could soften or stiffen the the ride anyhow so that's my first, first thing i hit the ride in um i'm feeling from the front forks that it, that they give it's too soft it feels like you you can sort of fall feels like you could fall on the aggressive riding like it won't give the resistance on the hard braking and I'm I'm a hard rider you know so anyhow that's the first thing the next thing I don't like this right here the practicality of having the horn on the inside form that to me is very 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 uncomfortable when you're riding 
if you want to blue to alert someone that you're coming because the bike is so aggressive you want to have a firm grip on the handlebars and at the same time trying to reach sometimes you get confused with with um pushing the signal or sometimes you can't reach depending on how your you're clutched onto the handlebar you can't reach the horn so that is another thing that i hate about about it the horn should be right there with your thumb it should be right there maybe somewhere here and then the signals could be in the place of the of the light switch or maybe that needs to be rearranged so that you have the horn somewhere here towards more towards the left you have the signal below so maybe that console or whatever you call that that unit needs to be bigger to accommodate everything they make it too small and they just to me it feels like they have just scrambled all the the buttons anywhere yeah so for me i don't like it um another thing that i think this bike should have or come from the factory is a steering damper i think it should have a damper because this bike is crazy aggressive i would not recommend that bike for a beginner why the bike is too aggressive as soon as you crack release the clutch and crack that throttle as gentle as it might seem the bike is already wanting to wheelie and because of the bike's aggression that three cylinder spec engine is of top mt from what i understand um signifies masters of torque and because of that the bike has crazy torque in the low-end rpms so the result of that is the bike is very aggressive very 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 aggressive and what happens is that when the bike is on the acceleration the the front tire most of the times is off the ground so by the time it it makes contact with the with the tarmac it um shims causes it to shim so that to me is a, another disadvantage of the bike you know yeah other than that i'm on the beach today so don't mind <laughs> my I, I put my shoe on the rear cowling but yeah it has a delkovich pole well we call it pole but exhaust is the correct term um it has engine sliders i think the owner put in aftermarket engine sliders um, aftermarket foot pegs for the pillion as well um, that's another thing that i like about the bike he gave it an aftermarket pillion grab so that is uh, 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 should i say something like a, a pillion handle because the bike is so aggressive that any quick throttle that you apply onto the bike it could cause the pillion to fall off the bike so having that right there on the tank i think is a very good idea by the owner to have that Fall, falling off the bike is very easy <laughs> and um let me see if i get the key where's the key um the tail end uh yes i i'm in between liking it and hitting it i'm not too sure if i like so it's got a aftermarket headlamp led lights it's got aftermarket turn signals it's got engine sliders it's got um 
a quick shifter for only up shifting down shifting you gotta press the clutch um yeah he put in that's the wheel bus the wheel bus stickers rossi the wheel the god of motorcycles yeah um like i've seen i'm not too sure if i like the tail piece because the tail piece to me i find it's old school retro giving that old school style uh but as if i don't know it hasn't grown on to me as yet so i'm in between loving it and hating it he put in also an aftermarket engine cover um yeah <clears throat> and the XSR badging. Um, these are the tank grips. All these were aftermarket installs. Um, yeah, like I was saying, the bike needs a steering damper. Because as soon as you throttle the bike, sometimes even as gently as you may think you are doing it, um, the wheel gets off the ground and can cause the bike to be unstable. Yeah, so my view is a steering damp. Switches on on this side. Um, I don't know. Oh, it has different modes. Okay. Ah, and I haven't even fumbled with the modes as yet. Yeah. Like I was saying, that XSR900 is a very good bike. Um, the three things that I don't like about it is the front forks. They are soft. It needs a steering damper. I don't think that the horn is in the most practical position on that unit. Yeah, so that's the three things that I think that that the XSR 900 need. Um, the bike was a 2018. I think the owner wants to sell it. Um, EC dollars 26, I think he said, which is which works out to somewhere like eight grand US. Yeah, so eight or nine grand US, something like that. Yeah, so yeah, it's a 900. Um, it's fairly new, he said. He bought it from one owner in the States. So, yeah. That's it right there. It's for sale. Yeah, so if you're interested, I'll leave a contact for the owner in the description of my of my um, video. <laughs> yeah, if you notice, I always... I'm always repetitious with the things that I say. It's because I never create a script. Getting into the habit of creating a script is probably what I should be doing. That's a better thing to do. But I always speak from impromptu, from the mind. Impromptu. So, yeah. I apologize if I'm repetitious. But you're getting the true uncut dog fella. <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, uh, what else would I add on that bike? Yeah, the bike, very fast, um, comfortable in terms of, um, the rider's position. Um, 
it has good braking um, it's small it's compact it's nimble as well going through the corners you can um, jump from left to right very easily so you know it's an easily maneuverable bike in terms of the handling but in terms of um, whether it's a it's a beginner's bike no I don't recommend it to any beginner if you're a beginner go look for a 250 two stroke or or uh, 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 R300 Yamaha R300 or you know look for a dirt bike a one quarter 250 uh, maybe a 450 although some of those 450s can be so 450 dirt bikes can be so aggressive but yeah look for a bike that would be easy for you to handle yeah other than that yeah that's where i'm gonna say subscribe to my channel um check follow my youtube page follow uh subscribe to my instagram sorry follow my youtube page hit me up on on facebook as well follow me there you know i want to bring up the followers because this is how i'll be able to get the drive to continue to make videos for you guys you know and maybe i will come up with a trend or a direction with my channel you know as it is as it goes along right now i'm in baby steps so i'm just trying to get a foundation on the whole social media platform and video making vibes so all the creators out there look for the dog fella sign up log in subscribe everything you don't know pick up one law stay safe and strong oh and just remember too if you're god fearing always say a prayer you check because the world needs prayer warriors to keep the life and the whole vibes balance bless up